On June 10th, Apple will preview iOS 7, the next software for iPhone and iPad devices. Maybe we'll see some small refinements, maybe we'll see some major advancements. But regardless of what's shown on stage, there's a few things from Android that I think Apple desperately needs to copy. I'm Andrew with MobileBurn.com, and here's a look at a few things that I hope Apple introduces in iOS 7. When you take a photo on iOS and then you go into the gallery app, your sharing options are pretty limited, or very limited, I should say. Only Apple's approved list can take the next step once you've taken an image. On Android, on the other hand, apps are allowed to talk to each other, so you're able to support a lot more options. So when I go to share, I don't have to just limit myself to email or Facebook. I can tap into a long line of apps that range from social networking to cloud storage to uh, editing images or just my own productivity. I've got choices because Android allows apps to communicate with each other and that's something that iOS 7 should definitely have. You'll never be convinced that the iPhone has the best keyboard. Okay, no matter what anyone says, I will never be convinced that the iPhone has the best keyboard. Now, don't get me wrong, it has a good keyboard, as you saw when I typed that out, but it's not the most ideal option. You want to talk about options? Let's talk about the options that Android has. One of them is SwiftKey, the best keyboard that's ever invented. Yes, I said it. Uh, this is great because it uses text prediction, uh, and so as soon as I type in Android, it knows you might mean Sullivan or Jackson, you know, some famous people. But when I type K, it says, hey, he's probably typing Kamika, his last name. And then from there, it can predict the whole sentence. So it really cuts out the amount of time that I have to do uh, in entering uh, different text. So it knows that I meant to say Andrew Kamika is the greatest thing ever, which he is. I don't have the luxury of changing out the iOS keyboard. I don't have the luxury of swapping out the lock screen. These are things that you can easily do on Android that you can't do on iOS and it's rather disappointing. I really love the way that iOS lets you choose how you're notified by a particular app. So you can have it just on the lock screen or down in notification center if you want. But wouldn't it be great if I had a lock screen that told me more than just the most recent notification? Wouldn't it be great if I can actually scroll down and see the entire thing? Uh, wouldn't it be great if I could uh, see that I have new messages and actually replied directly from the phone? Now, obviously, that's not something that you'd need to have in iOS 7, but it would be nice if it was there. And while we're on the subject of notifications, what does a guy have to do to get some shortcuts in the notification drawer? Every time I want to turn on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, I have to go into the settings and go individually to do it. It's just not the most convenient. On Android, I don't have to worry about that. It's pretty much built into every Android device. All I have to do is swipe down if I want to turn on Wi-Fi, I tap on it. Bluetooth, GPS. Some of the newer phones even allow you to uh, customize which of the settings appear there. So I'd love to see that in iOS 7. I like that iOS puts little badges on your icons to let you know which apps you need to tend to. But at the same time, every time you open your phone, it's the same row of icons. It'd be nice to break up the monotony or find new ways to display information. And you have that option with Android. Here on this HTC One, I have widgets. So if I want to search, I've got the search button always present. If I want to call a friend, I have my favorite contacts listed here because of this widget on my home screen. So it's not just me going into an app and then doing something. I have the option of creating a really customized experience. I can browse through YouTube, I can see updates on Flipboard or my RSS reader, or I can create a new voice note for myself. And there are a lot of things that I can do to make this phone really feel like it's my device. That's something that I'd love to see in iOS 7. More customization, more widgets or something. Not, even if they don't choose to do widgets, just a way to make the home screen feel like you're in control of it. The likelihood that all or any of these features will appear in iOS 7 remain to be seen, but a guy can hope, right? So this is what I hope to see when Apple takes the stage soon. Let me know what you think iOS 7 needs on the software level to really take things to the next level. This is Andrew from MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.